Hi, this is the second video in a series of videos about global issues. Um, you will have learned about the conditional tense last lesson. Today we're going to discuss the weather and climate and hopefully you'll be able to use three different time frames. So first of all, just to give you the basic vocabulary for weather, I just want you to listen and repeat. Then you can pause the video and copy down the vocabulary. So it's sunny. Il y a du soleil. Il y a du soleil. It's foggy. Il y a du bouillard. Il y a du bouillard. It's stormy. Il y a des orages. Il y a des orages. It's windy. Il y a du vent. Il y a du vent. Il fait froid. It's cold. Il fait froid. Il fait chaud. Il fait chaud. It's hot. Il pleut. Il pleut. It's raining. Il neige. Il neige. It's snowing. So now a listening exercise. Just listen to the short passage and make a note of the missing words in French. En France, il y a des orages dans le nord. Dans le sud, il fait chaud et il y a du soleil. Dans les Alpes, il fait froid et il neige. Dans l'ouest, il y a du bouillard. Dans le centre, il pleut. So, let's see if you got those right. Number one. En France, il y a des orages. Number two. Dans le sud, il fait chaud. Number three. Il y a du soleil. Number four. Il fait froid. Number five. Il neige. Number six. Il y a du bouillard. And number seven. Il pleut. Okay. Now have a go at this reading exercise. So look at the map. What is the weather like in the areas shown on the map? So what's the weather like in the north, number one, in the west, number two, etc. So pause the video and then when you've completed the exercise, carry on for the answers. So number one, dans le nord, il y a des orages, so it's stormy. Number two, dans l'ouest, il y a du bouillard. In the west, it's foggy. Number three, dans le centre, il pleut. It's raining or it's rainy. Number four, dans les Alpes, il fait froid et il neige. In the Alps, it's cold and it's snowy. So you need to know a bit of geography there. And number five, dans le sud, il fait chaud et il y a du soleil. It's hot and it's sunny. Right, now, using your notes, can you write a short paragraph about the weather in your area? I would start the paragraph with J'habite dans le nord, sud, est, or west de l'Angleterre. Normalement, normally, and what is the weather like? To make this a bit longer and extend it, try writing about the weather in different times of the year. For example, au printemps, in the spring, en été, in the summer, en automne, in autumn, en hiver, in the winter. And as a foundation GCSE question in the writing exam, um, try and aim for at least 40 words in French. And then email your work to your teacher.
So moving on, um, silver learning objective, grade five to six, where really you should be trying to get a second time frame into your work. Quel temps faisait-il il y a 50 ans? What was the weather like 50 years ago? So pause the video and answer the question and then make yourself some grammar notes. So where are the verbs in these sentences? Not too tricky. There they go. Il y a, il fait, il neige, il pleut. And they're all present tense. Notice in French you never use the verb être when you're talking about the weather. So it is hot. You don't say il est chaud. The correct is il fait chaud. So just be careful of that one. To say what the weather was like or used to be like, you need to use the imperfect tense. So as you can see, I've changed the verbs from the present into the imperfect for you. So il y a du soleil becomes il y avait du soleil. Il fait chaud becomes il faisait chaud. Il neige, il neigeait. And il pleut, il pleuvait. And at the bottom here are some useful phrases if you're going to talk or write about um, weather in the past. So, il y a blank an, so many years ago. Il y a vingt ans, il y a cinquante ans. Auparavant means in the old days. And quand j'étais plus jeune, when I was younger. Okay, so here's a reading exercise for you. Um, first thing to do with the reading exercise is always just to read through the text, skim read it, and see which words you can understand and how much information you can get from the text. And then you can do the exercises underneath. So make a list of the bold type words and phrases and find the English for those. And then answer the following questions in English. So if you pause the video now and then continue when you want the answers. So bold words, il y a 50 ans, 50 years ago, souvent, often, pire que, worse than, maintenant, now, moins, less, chaque année, every year, toujours, always, tous les mois de, all the months of, and les plus chauds, the hottest. And here come the answers to the questions. So check your work, see how you've done. And finally, for those of you who want a third time frame, comment penses-tu que le climat changera à l'avenir? How do you think the climate will change in the future? So use the chart below to make up some nice sentences in answer to that question. Choose words from each column. So on the left hand side, start a sentence, start a phrase is, à mon avis, in my opinion, selon means according to, so according to the experts, according to my parents, according to my teachers, according to my friends. On dit que, people say that. Il y aura, there will be. Moins de, or plus de, more or less. Or une augmentation de, an increase in. On the right hand side, Inondation, floods, orage, storms, conditions meteorologiques extreme, extreme weather conditions, sécheresse, drought, and niveau de la mer is the sea level. At the bottom you've got il fera, it will be moins or plus chaud, more or less hot. And finally, to summarise everything, now what I'd like you to do is use your notes to prepare an answer to the question. So, quel temps fait-il normalement dans ta région? So, if you're going for grade 3 or 4, you can just answer that question nice and simply. Don't forget to talk about different types, uh, different times of the year. If you're going for silver, then you should add to that by saying what the weather used to be like and doing a comparison. And if you're going for the gold, 7+, plus, you need to do all three, so you're also going to talk about how you things think things will change in the future. So what you need to do is write yourself a little script, practice speaking it, try and learn it, and then once you've done that, record yourself and email your work to your teacher. As I've said in previous videos, try not to read the text out. It's best if you can learn it. It's good practice for your speaking, 
and if you read things out, pronunciation tends to suffer. Okay, good luck, and look forward to seeing you for lesson three. Au revoir, merci.